Hey, this is Daniel from Matarama Pro. This week uh, on the set, we covered stroboscopic flash effects. We used a pocket wizard together with Hasselblad camera and some lighting from Hensel to create a variety of in-camera effects by firing the flash multiple times or later on the exposure. So we blacked out our area so that we could, didn't have ambient light uh, affecting our shots. A lot of times we were shooting one and two second exposures. We could move our, our object throughout the field. We could move the camera. We even moved the light for some of the shots. And basically by firing the flash multiple times, we were able to create things you couldn't create with just a single flash fire. The other thing we did was we did delay flash, which is when the flash fires later on the exposure. So by using the modeling light, and then the flash, we could create a blur effect, which can also have a really interesting feel for certain, uh, certain applications. Like for instance, if you're gonna shoot uh, sports or, or something where things are moving, a few times we did things where we, we, we put something together, we rolled things through the scene. It, it allows the viewer to, to get a sense of motion uh, without, instead of just a static shot. You know, a static shot of a, a, a ball sitting on the seamless is, is one thing, a ball multiple times or with a blur gives a good feeling of motion and that's what you can capture with these kind of uh, techniques. So basically Hasselblad camera tethered into our Mac computer as usual. We use some Matthews flags to block out the area, roll seamless paper and one and then two Hensel strobes uh, to create the effects that we needed. So these stroboscopic effects can be useful for both uh, still lifes or portraiture. You can create some really interesting uh, shots of people by having them appear multiple times or multiple sides of their face, etc. in the shot. So next time on set we're going to cover portraiture done with speed lights. We're going to use Canon cameras and speed lights mixed in with Westcott modifiers to create some really interesting portraits uh, with very simple and minimal equipment.